Hey guys, welcome back to Critical Flick. Today I'm going to continue our series talking about Netflix original films, and today we're talking about Point Blank. This is actually the remake of a French film. I didn't actually know that until I was researching some of the background on the actors and the cast in the film. But yeah, I was kind of interested that that's what it was, because it doesn't say that anywhere in the movie, so I thought that was a little interesting tidbit there. So Point Blank is a movie starring Anthony Mackie. He's been in a lot of Netflix content recently. I actually really liked him in IO. I didn't love the film, but I liked him in it. I also really liked him in the Black Mirror episode that he was in, so I was kind of excited. He's always been a draw for me. Most people always know him as Falcon from the MCU, but he's a really good actor, and I was really excited to see him in another new role. It also stars Frank Grillo, who's somebody that also from the MCU teaming up back together. But the one thing that I've always liked about him is he always felt like a really good action star. I remember seeing him in the Purge sequels, and I caught, thought like, okay, this guy could be a really good new up-and-coming actor. And I feel like he never got really good roles. I feel like he never was given something with a lot of substance. Even when they gave him the opportunity to be Crossbones, to be a cool villain, he didn't really do a lot. And he kind of is just like a throwaway character in the MCU. So I liked that he also got another movie. He's been in a lot of movies, but nothing that's really been of note in the past few years. So... I thought that it might be a good movie. Unfortunately, I really didn't love this movie. It is a fairly generic action movie. I don't think it's terrible. I think it had some decent ideas, but it really does struggle from trying to separate itself from just anything else that you might watch. It's like the twists in it were really obvious. I thought the characters were kind of just bland. The stakes never really felt that interesting. I never was really invested in the characters. It had some decent action, some decent cinematography. Overall, it was just very, very average. That being said, I thought Anthony Mackie was the best asset to this film. I thought his character was really likable. I like the fact that he was this nurse that was trying to, you know, save his wife, his pregnant wife. That felt like the most important thing in the film. Just the connection between him and his wife, him willing to do anything to save his wife, was the most important thing. I really did not find any interest in the background plot going on with, you know, the dirty cops and everything else going on. I really didn't care about that. I cared more about his relationship. And I also kind of like the relationship between Frank Grillo's character and his brother, and that felt kind of cut short as well. I don't know. I just felt like there was a lot of things this movie could have done, and it felt like it was going to be better when it started. It has a kind of a shift halfway through, and I wish they would have kind of stuck with the more gritty stuff that was starting in the beginning of the film. Speaking of the twist, I'm going to talk about it a little bit. If you haven't seen it and you're really interested, I won't ruin it for you. I think the twist is really obvious. It's your normal twist that's in these kind of crime movies, crime action movies. The cops that are trying to catch the bad guy end up actually being the bad guys and the bad guy who you think is the person that is the antagonist of the show ends up being the good guy and it turns on its side. I feel like that happens all the time. I feel like there's so many action movies that have come out throughout the decades where you start off with this bad guy and he's like, oh, you know, he was he killed somebody and then the cops are after him and then you find out the cops set him up and that's just what you get in this and it didn't really do anything too clever when it comes to that aspect in particular i think the lieutenant officer that's played by marcia harden was really just overcooked i think the acting was really over the top you have this character that is supposed to be your generic cop type character and then she becomes like a super villain who's just willing to kill anybody and she's the head of almost like a syndicate of just criminals it just it felt silly at the end of the day like i said it felt like a generic story it was okay to watch. It was a movie where you put it on, it just felt like your average action movie. If you're in for something like that, I think you'd be invested in it. If you're just like, I want to watch Anthony Mackie, and I want to go in here and see some decent action, decent story, but nothing really groundbreaking. Kind of your just, you know, throwaway Netflix thing where you put it on TV because you have nothing else to watch. But other than that, I don't think it has a lot of value beyond that slight entertainment value. So if I were to rate this movie, I would give it a 5 out of 10. It's right there in the middle. It's right, perfectly average movie. It's one of those ones, like I said, like Netflix, I feel they put out these movies all the time that are just kind of these bare bones ideas with some decent acting, an average script. They always seem to be pretty quality when it comes to the filming and editing of these films, but the stories all fall pretty flat. I liked that it was a little grittier than something like Polar, which I, I don't love the over-the-top ridiculous action. It pretty much cuts the line there, John Wick, for me. I really like John Wick, but when you start getting past that, that's not really my cup of tea. But I thought this was, like I said, just your average movie. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe and let me know, how did you feel about Point Blank? Maybe you really liked it. Maybe you got a lot out of it more than I did. I just have to say, when you see so many action movies like this, it kind of gets stale. I thought the acting, like I said, was fine. The characters were not really that compelling. Other than the husband and his wife, it kind of just felt like your normal throwaway action 
characters. All right, so comment down below. Let me know what you thought about it. Has it ranked with the Netflix films for you? Have you been kind of getting worn out with the Netflix movies like I have? I keep watching them, and none of them just blow me away. I think some of them are okay. I liked I Am Mother, if you see my previous review on that. But nothing's really just like hit me like, yes, this is worth being made. I'm glad that they spent the money to make these movies. And I hope now that they reined in their spending a little bit, we're going to get some more quality content. Because I do love Netflix. I love their shows. I love Stranger Things like a lot of other people. I have a lot of content they put out. I just wish that they would spend more time making good movies instead of just throwing out basically anything that has a decent script and a name attached to it. Thanks for watching and see you guys next time.